long second intermission for the third installment of my Q&A video. And here we go. Ooh. And then the last questions I have came from Tiffany from The Crafty Home, my little bestie. Okay, her first question she has is my favorite flavor of ice cream. If it's going to be any brand, it'll be cookies and cream. Blue Bell, which is a brand from Texas, has some of the best cookies and cream and bluebells coming back what what um and if you're not from texas or from this area south area no idea why i'm rejoicing but it's delicious but if it's not any other flavor and i can get it heb which is our grocery store chain from texas i don't know what i'm gonna do if i ever move out of texas because i love heb Anyway, H-E-B has this intense chocolate. It's chocolate, like dark chocolate ice cream with chocolate swirls and chocolate, like, chip. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Or toasted almond fudge. I love toasted almond fudge. Okay, and then um, Tiffany's next question is your favorite doctor. And I have to first say this funny thing that went through my head is when I read this question, I was like, what, my, like, my favorite eye doctor? My favorite, like, physician? And then I read the next question, which is favorite companion. I'm like, oh, duh. So, okay. So, just funny little story. So, favorite doctor. Okay. So, even though I absolutely love the 10th doctor, which is David Tennant, I love, love, love Matt Smith as the 11th doctor. I did it in the beginning because David Tennant was just so fantastic and so amazing. His seasons and his companions were awesome. But when it just I just one, I just love the storylines in his seasons. But then his companions of the pawns, Amy and Rory, and then River Song, just the four of them together, I just feel like, ugh, it's just amazing like just the dynamic and their storylines and they're so funny and I just love that just the banter between Amy and Matt Smith and it's just love 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 their season so favorite doctor Matt Smith favorite companion would be the ponds and River Song okay the next question is how do you drink your coffee and I mean I drink my coffee in a mug She, how she wanted me to answer that question. No. So seriously, it honestly depends on where I am. Uh, there are some restaurants that I just love their coffee straight up, just black, just plain. Sometimes at home I drink it plain. If I am at Starbucks and I'm drinking just their regular brewed coffee, I have a little bit of cream and a little bit of sugar. A, if I'm at home, we usually have some kind of specialty creamer, so that always just varies. I am so excited because it's going to be pumpkin spice latte soon. So that means pumpkin spice latte, the international delights, which is delicious. And so, yes, that's how I take my coffee. I really just like coffee, so I can pretty much drink it anyway. If it's really bad coffee, it has to have a lot of sugar. But if it's just really good tasting coffee, it doesn't need a whole lot. So, okay. Next question is favorite Starbucks drink, and my favorite Starbucks drink is pumpkin spice latte. And, oh my goodness, tomorrow it comes back September 4th for those with gold cards, which <laughs> I have a gold card, which I'm not going to be getting one tomorrow. I'm not. Probably not. Bandit is crying at my door because it's closed. Let me in. I want to get in there. Okay, next question is how long have you been married? I've been married for five and a half-ish years. Five years, May 2015. So we got married 2010, 10, 20. Can't believe it's been five years. It's crazy. Yeah, so the next question is where am I originally from? And I'm originally from Colorado. I grew up in Colorado and I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved it. Okay, and then the next question is how many times have you moved in your life? Let's see, I moved to Kansas, I um, moved back to Colorado, I moved to Texas, and I moved, let's see, to a different city in Texas, and I moved to another city in Texas. So, five times. Woo woo! 
Not counting the, you know, changing apartments and stuff like that, because that's just silly. Okay, and then the next question is, did I go to college, and if so, where, and what did I major in? And I did go to college. I went to Howard Payne University, and I majored in English. If you don't know where Howard Payne is, you could, it's a really small Christian school in Texas. Ah, okay. And it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Stingham Jackets. Okay. And then the next question is favorite board game. I really love the basic life. I love life. I love Clue. And then if you're going more into like the, you know, cool gamer, you know, whatever games, I love Ticket to Ride and Lords of Waterdeep. Those are awesome. Okay. And then the second to last question is where do you buy your board games typically? We have a local board game store here in our town and we usually buy from them just because we like to support local businesses. Um, and then if we, if it's a really expensive game, we buy them from Cool Stuff Inc. because the more you buy from them, the cheaper your games are. So if it's like an $80 game, we'll buy it from Cool Stuff Inc. But other Cool Stuff Inc., not Inc.'s. Um, other than that, we buy it from our local board game store. And then and the next question is, does my uh, my husband read? And yes, he does. And I have been like pushing like books on him to read. So he is in the third book of the Mistborn trilogy, which he read. He's almost done with the third book, and he just finished the second one. So it took me forever. It's taken him like a week. <sighs> but yes, he loves to read. Oh, well, he. He likes to read. He doesn't read as much as I do, but he does read. Okay, and then the last question, which is a funny question, is if is if you could combine two animals, what would they be? What would it look like? How would it act? And what would it be called? Um, let's see. The first thing that came to mind was a cat and a unicorn. And so I'm picturing my fluffy bandit with the unicorn horn on, and it would um, it would act like a horse and be cuddly like a cat and it would be fluffy with a horn. Like a miniature, like a cat size with the unicorn. Yeah, that's what it would be. Okay, guys, that is the last question and I thank you guys so much for giving me all of the questions. I really appreciate it. They were a lot of fun to answer and I hope you enjoyed listening to my answers and I am sorry it was so long. Um, that's the reason why I decided to break it up into three different installments because I, it was already 30 minutes when I uploaded the first part of it and I'm like, no one wants to sit and watch 40 minutes of me talking all at once because that's just not fun. So, okay. Well, guys, I hope you are having a great reading month and let me know down below if you have any more questions because if you do, then maybe I'll make another video at some point down the road and I will see you guys on the flip side. Seriously, this video is long enough, why are you still here? <laughs>